Now, drawing them. So we looked at how to name them. Now we gotta go about drawing them. So we're gonna be given a name, and we're gonna be asked how to go about drawing. Okay? So four main rules to drawing alkane compounds. One of them, identify the root and suffix name and draw the main chain, right? So draw your main chain, draw out all your carbons, number them. Right? Then number the carbons from one end. Draw the necessary branches on the chain, so find out where these branches are located, actually draw in these branches. And then finally, add the appropriate number of hydrogen atoms to each of the carbon atoms. But now keep in mind, how many times is that carbon bonded with another carbon? That will make it play a very big role in how many hydrogens are associated around it. And we'll see it with our first example. So here's a sample problem. Draw a condensed structural diagram for 3-ethyl, 3-4-dimethyl hexane. So, right, well, let's, let's go through this. You can pause this and, and watch it uh, or try it out yourself. Or, kind of, we'll, we'll continue. So, remember, the main chain is hexane. So, we know we're going to have three, uh, six carbons in a chain. So, we're going to draw them in a straight chain. So, one carbon bonded to another carbon, bonded to another carbon, another carbon, another carbon, to another carbon. So we have our six carbon uh, atoms that represent our hexane, our main chain. Now, from that, we want to number them, right? That's the first carbon, second carbon, third carbon, fourth carbon, five, fifth carbon, sixth carbon. Now, we can number it from the other side. It doesn't really matter, but just remember that these numbers are based on however we've chosen to number them, right? So if we number them at the other end, that's where we start to Right? So I like to use, you know, in the order that we read um, things, right, from, uh, from left to right. So we have got, on the third carbon, right, apparently we've got an ethyl group on that third carbon, and we've got one of the methyl groups also on that carbon, right? So let's put that. So here we have our ethyl, right, which represents two carbons. Notice here the CH2, right, because carbon is bonded to this carbon, and to that carbon, which leaves it open for two more hydrogens. And as we said, always at the ends, we will find our CH3. And in fact, I can put this in. We know that this is one end, this is the other end. Those are where the, the outer ends, and those outer ends for these alkanes will have CH3. Okay, so we've got our ethyl group, which is taken care of. Now we've got this 3,4-dimethyl group. So here's on the three, here's on the four, we've put in our methyl groups. So we've placed in our ethyl and our methyl groups. Now the only thing that's remaining is to put the hydrogens. We know, as we said, it's an outer chain. Outer, the outer parts of the chain on, a, on alkanes have a CH3. Now, here we have this next carbon, right? carbon number two. So this carbon is bonded once, twice which means it has two, two more valence electrons around it to allow it to bond to two more hydrogens. This carbon here is already bonded to the maximum number of carbons, so it will not have another hydrogen associated to it. Notice, one, two, three, four bonds already full. Right? This next carbon, carbon number four. Carbon number four is bonded once, twice, three times, which allows it to bond to one more hydrogen. This next hydrogen, this, sorry, this next carbon bonded once, bonded twice, so it's got room for two more hydrogens. And as we said, because it's the outer end, it has the CH3, okay? So please note um, how many hydrogens are associated right, with, uh, with each one of the, um, these carbon atoms. And note that this is a condensed structural diagram. If we wanted to draw a complete we, instead of putting this CH3 like this, we would actually write out the hydrogens as such. And in fact, that might be a little bit simpler when drawing these, and then if you want, you can condense it or on scrap paper, draw it out like that and then condense it. But it can get a little bit messy. Okay. So please make sure you know how to put it together all the remaining hydrogens based on the number of valence electrons that carbon contains and the number of bonds that carbon can actually uh, hold. Okay, let's look at the uh, last sample problem. Draw a condensed structural diagram for a 2, 3, 4 trimethyl pentane. So take a moment 
and work this one out. So, remember what we said. First things first. Let's start with our main chain. Our main chain is pentane, which means we've got five carbons. One, two, three, four, five. We know at the outer ends, we've got, um, uh, actually, you know what? Let's not do the outer end just yet. So we've got carbon number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. Okay? So we've got three methyl groups, right? Each one on the two, the three, and the four. Doesn't really matter which side you want to draw them on. I'm going to draw them both on the same side. So, one of them, right, and because it's the end, right? So it's three, CH3 here to another end, CH3, and to the number four, CH3. So here we have all three of our methyl groups, one on the two carbon, another one on the three carbon, another one on the four carbon. Doesn't really matter. And now, all we gotta do is add in our hydrogens. As we said, the upper ends, CH3, CH3. Now, these inside ones, this number two carbon has three bonds to it, so it has room for only one more hydrogen. The, car the uh, car number three carbon, also three bonds, so it's got room for one more hydrogen. Number four carbon, same thing, three bonds, has room for one more hydrogen. So it doesn't exactly have those um, homologous series like we talked about the CH2, as we said when adding in. This usually works when it's a one single chain when we're drawing our carbons, but not when we have them branched, okay? So key here is practice. So uh, go through as many practice problems as you can. Just look up uh, hydrocarbons and go about trying to name them randomly uh, because the best way to um, to strengthen your knowledge of alkenes and naming and drawing them is practice. So keep practicing.